Finally, it appears that the 14-inch iPad Pro or iPad Ultra will be released. We've heard that the 14-inch iPad Ultra will include an M3 Pro chipset, as well as a slew of other extras. I'd also like to provide an overview of what to expect with a new iPad Ultra, including design features and, of course, the predicted iPad Ultra release date and pricing. First, let's go over where we are. As a result, every iPad will be upgraded between September 2021 and the end of 2022. The iPad Mini to the iPad Pro all have an A14, A15, M1, or M2 chipset within. We have the 10th generation iPad with the A14 processor toward the end of 2022. And now we have upgraded iPad Pro models with a new M2 chipset, which was first glimpsed in June 2022. The M2 iPad Pro is the most powerful tablet on the market and a perfect alternative to the MacBook Pro 13 inch or the MacBook M2, allowing you to use it as a laptop replacement with a magic keyboard or as a fantastic creator's device with a magic pencil. But now we're here to talk about the all-new iPad Ultra. Crazy as it may sound, we're genuinely told that we might get this larger iPad this year in 2023, but it never happened. According to Mark German, this suggests that the larger iPad is still on track to be released in 2024. In fact, another report from Analyst 941 claims that the iPad Pro 14-inch is on its approach and would be available in 2024. We've been told that it will be a 14.1-inch iPad Pro with an M3 Pro chipset inside. What's even more fantastic is that we've been told that you'll be able to daisy-chain multiple Thunderbolt 4 devices, including maybe two screens, onto the actual iPad Pro. What's incredible is that this is the first time we've heard of a 14-inch iPad Ultra or iPad Pro. I'm still not convinced. So while we're still talking about a 16-inch iPad Ultra, this iPad would be revolutionary competing head-to-head -head with, example, Samsung's Galaxy S Ultra versions, which now feature a 14.6-inch display. This device could potentially include a Face ID landscape orientation, similar to the 10th generation iPad. With this adjustment, Apple may be able to change features like Face ID to landscape orientation on the brand new iPad Ultra. It's also expected that the iPad Ultra's bezels will be reduced and that a notch similar to what we see on the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros would be introduced. Samsung, for example, has already accomplished this with their Tab S8 Ultra, which features a notch and a camera in the center of the landscape orientation across one bezel. Another possibility is that the new Dynamic Island, which is already available on the iPhone 14 Pro models, may be introduced to the iPad Ultra. If Apple makes this modification, even if it's a little one, I'm sure a lot of people will be thrilled because a lot of people enjoy the new dynamic island and it makes a lot of sense for it to arrive in 2023. Furthermore, with leaks being early and to bear any leaks all the way up to the iPad's release date and anything that I show you guys, a lot of previous leaks for other Apple products have come true and then there are some that have been misinterpreted, for example, late dates based on the facts that leakers have been told. I can only tell you and show you what I've been told and shown. So until we see Apple officially show off the final iPad Ultra, no leaker report is 100% genuine. If like me, you're still watching this video, it's because you're inquisitive. I'm interested in learning what the iPad Ultra will look like and what the newest leaks and rumors are, regardless of what they say. Now I'm discussing the history of the iPad Pros, but the iPad Ultra is an entirely new device with its own timeline. It may not follow in the footsteps of the iPad Pros. We did recently hear that the iPad Ultra would be released in the fourth quarter of 2023, which would place it around October or November of that year. Obviously, it never happened, but there were no iPad updates in 2023. So everything is pointing to 2024 today, and it's probable that Apple will hold an event in the spring of 2024. As a result, this could be the first time we see this larger iPad. If not, we could see it as early as the fall of 2024. So if you want to know when the iPad Ultra will be available, make sure you subscribe to this channel and then push that notification bell. So first and foremost, let's go over the specifications. Now, one thing I will mention here is that, as you can see, it is a 16-inch M3 iPad Ultra. There's a chance we'll see a 14-inch variant as well, but for now, let's just call it a 16-inch. It will also include the 16-inch mini LED XDR back display. 
This is the same sort of display seen in the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros, as well as the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. It will have a resolution of 3456 by 2234 and it will be a promotion display, thus it will have a refresh rate of up to 120 hertz. It will most likely come with storage options such as 128 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, 1 TB and a 2 terabyte storage option. And as previously said, it will include the new M3 chipset, which will run on a free nanometer die and will support 5G connectivity. Again, this iPad Ultra is most likely to come with either 16 gigabytes or 24 gigabytes of RAM. Although this could change in the future, it's more likely to be 12 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, or 24 gigabytes. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens with that one. We'll also receive an aluminum frame body, and on the back, similar to the Pro models, we'll most likely get a dual camera with LiDAR. We'll also get that center stage selfie camera on the front, and this may happen on either a dynamic island or at a notch. We're not sure at the moment, but we'll find out soon. Because of the size of this iPad Ultra, the battery will most likely be around 12,500 milli. Prices for the 128GB model will start around $1,499 and will rise to $2,599 for the 2TB option. So it is the pinnacle of the iPad Ultra. Now, my own wishes for the iPad Ultra are more about the type of software than the type of physical hardware that comes with the iPad Ultra. So I'm more concerned with iPad OS. I'm hopeful that by 2023, the operating system for iPadOS will not be a carbon copy of iOS and will feel more like, say, Mac OS inside. I know we now have Stage Manager, and to be honest, that's quite nice. But I'd want to see more of a desktop OS feel than an iOS iPadOS feel, especially now that we have devices like the Apple Pencil and the Magic Keyboard. So, if you enjoy viewing it, please share your thoughts on the video. At the same time, if you want to hear the most recent Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, please click the subscribe button followed by the notification bell. Until the next time, bye-bye.